everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have tapped the notification bell. So today, Sister has a wonderful spring adventure for us all. So many fabulous, whimsy finds are going to be packed inside this cabinet right here. And I actually will be sharing, I mean, I cannot believe this. I've had this piece now for two years. Um, my daughter, she just knows that um, I love music boxes and just things that are unique and special and so she purchased it for me for Christmas and just with all the construction going on in the cottage I just never got around to sharing it last spring but I'm going to share it today and I can say this it is a one-of-a-kind piece um, that came from France so very very excited to share this piece um, Again, many different items. It's all um, spring. I hope you all get wonderful inspiration from this. That being said, let's begin, shall we? So I just kept the picture, the fairy tale up at top, and then my recent um, antique vintage find of the bunnies down below, and the three sisters, they will always, they, that is their forever home. Not quite certain about the bunnies. I believe it might be. We'll, we'll see because I love decorating with them um, all throughout the year. I love bunnies in my home. So we'll see about that. The hutch was a Facebook marketplace find. And now we are just going to fill her with the all the wonderful fills of spring today. We're going to begin up on the top shelf. And I'm going to start with the very, um, the one of a kind piece. This is a wooden stand. It has three stairs. And as you can see, there is like um, a slot up on top, I'm just gonna call it. And on the back, you wind it up. It's a music box. And then off to the side, there's the little button. You pull it and it plays It's a Small World. I wish I could actually play it for you. <laughs> so I'm placing it off on the left hand side and giving it a turn. And then up at top, here is um, this board. They used to be called dummy boards. I know there's other names for them as well. And you can see here, printed in Italy. And it's the wonderful world of Beatrix Potter. Now, story has it, the individuals that we purchased this from, many years ago, there was a salesman that went around selling Beatrix Potter finds. And he actually used this as his display when he was going out to sell her pieces. So if any of you have any more information on this, I would absolutely love to have it. But this is what we received from the seller. So it just fits right inside that slot up at top. Now just wait to see what goes on these stairs. It just couldn't be any more perfect. Get it into focus. Silver bells. I decided not to, so this is Mr. Jeremy Fisher. 
He absolutely loves everything about music and being on the water. I'll be giving more of a close-up of him later. So all of the bells are silver and I'm go going to keep them exactly as is. It just adds that special touch having this um, tarnished silver. All Beatrix Potter, Potter's little friends. Of course, here is Peter. You know where he's been, Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> he loves his homegrown carrots. <laughs> So many. We will be, I'm sure, talking about many of them as time moves along. What a special, special find this was. And my daughter, Riley, she's just so sweet, so thoughtful. Now on the second row... We even added more characters and a couple more up at top as well. That was a new one I added in as well. So if you notice, all of them are sitting on top of books. We have a, actually a threaded spool on top of books. Where my mind goes looking at all of these wonderful pieces. <laughs> There's Mrs. Josephine Rabbit. She's wondering if Peter's out there being good today. I love this with the dustpan. Absolutely precious. And then we're going to come back with the third row. There's Mr. Jeremy Fisher again. And if you look really close on top of the book, you can see a fish coming up out of the water. Absolutely love this bell. And there's another bell of Peter. Still eating Mr. McGregor's carrots. <laughs> Now in upcoming videos, I'm sure I will come through and name off all of these characters and speak a little bit more about them if um, you all would like for me to do such. Right now, I just really wanted to focus on giving all of you a really good visual and a little bit of history behind this piece. So again, it winds up, it's a music box, and it plays It's a Small World, and it's truly magical. Now we're gonna move over to the right-hand side, the old curiosity shop. This was a, a Facebook Marketplace find, and it's just, um, a decorative book that uh, most of the time I'll probably use it as a riser. And as you can see up here on the side, I put one of those little command hooks 
because there's something so darling I want to place up there. And here it is. It is my miniature um, French country clock. I purchased this many years ago in California and I would love to find several more of these. They are battery operated. The colors couldn't be any more perfect. Love the creams and the reds and touches, just soft touches of the blue and the greens. So that is the forever home for that clock and I'd love to place some more over on the other side. So that's just gonna take a little bit of hunting. The adventure begins. <laughs> On top of the book, I'm placing in my um, hurricane candle sconce. This was a thrifted find recently with a battery operated candle because I can't put a real candle in because we're in a hutch. And I just recently decorated with this one on my bookshelf, but I've been of course changing things about and I'm going to put this one inside the cabinet with a small little basket as well. And I have something, some little sweeties that are gonna go in there soon. Now, before we go down to that second shelf, I was gonna go down and I thought, wait a minute, something's missing up here. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> greenery, of course, we need some greenery. And these right here are um, pretty close to looking real. They're a very nice faux um, variegated floral. And these were purchased at Maryfield Garden. So I placed some behind the storefront. Since there was a couple trees, I thought let's bring some life to it and some behind the, uh, the hurricane. And what a difference adding that green made up on the top shelf. Now we can go to the second. This picture right here is absolutely everything. Crushing on this piece 100%. It was a Facebook Marketplace find. Um, it was a bit of an investment. Um, I, I did pay over 200 for this piece but that's okay because sometimes you just have those investment pieces that will stay with you for a lifetime facebook marketplace find then i placed in some ivy baskets it's the needlepoint ivy i purchased from the nursery added in some moss the perfect touch. So I have faux up at top, and now I'm bringing in the naturals on the second shelf. Next, I have these very um, old books, Facebook Marketplace find. You can see they have been sun bleached. Very old. They have that, um, excuse me, um, my favorite scent, the hint of dust inside the pages of these books. They are Charles Dickens. And I love the sun bleached color. Not everything has to be perfect. I placed two on one side, one on the other, and opened up one in the middle in front of the bunnies. And if you notice, the three sisters up at top, the books really pull from that picture, the colors. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun with these fellas. These are going to be my bookshelf mice. They were purchased from Amazon and they will be in my Amazon storefront. I'm going to take out the bulbs. Actually, the bulbs that come with it are just way too bright. So we had to go out and purchase some that 
had more of a, um, like an amber color to them. I'm placing tissue in here because the gold is just a bit too, um, just a bit too much for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to warm it up a little bit, all three of them. And as you can see, they're all a different um, style. They all are posing in a different way. And them holding the little light bulbs, it's, um, well, it's whimsy as it, as it is, the fact that they're little lamps, right? But then the shape of the light bulb couldn't be more perfect. I'm going to use antique gold paint by folk art and I'm just going to put on one simple coat that's it because I really want to calm down this bright gold here now many of you might like it this is total personal preference here and so you can really see the difference just wanted to um, calm down that gold a little bit and again just one coat and I did not share the process so if you look behind the box there is my antiquing wax so for those of you that have never seen me do the aging process I will link a video at the so at the end of all my videos I always link two videos um, that anyone can click on and go and view uh, previous movies, oh, movies, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, videos I have shared. So you can look at the process of how, what I use, the antiquing wax and how I use it. And it's pretty much, I just brush it on like I am here with the paint and then I um, dab off the excess wax with a paper towel and the wax is purchased from Michaels and in the other videos I do show the actual the the name the bottle itself So here is one finished and it actually, the wax has been placed on it. The other one I'm going to share does not have the wax on it yet, but we'll get there. <laughs> the one to the left, there is no wax on that one. they thought that they would come onto this shelf and bring just a little bit more light down here for the bunnies and the plants. Now I'm just going to add a little something else in front of the bunnies. One of my antique clock faces. I love to collect um, antique clocks and think about you know, different things that have happened, you know, in the past when these clocks were running um, with the individuals that own them, what took place in their lives at certain times. And this right here, for those of you that are new, it, this is called a quiet box. And I have a few of them around the house. I think everyone needs to have one of these. And what a quiet box is, it's just different things inside that when you can have quiet time, alone time, just your time, different things you like to do, like a little word find or little treasures your children have given you. This one came from Sweet London Girl. It's an airhead. I'll probably never eat it, but I'll always look at it and, and chuckle and feel warm hearted. And then an old medicine bottle that has quarters in it for when the ice cream truck comes by, 
I can give the money to London and she can go out and buy herself an ice cream, something I've always done with my children throughout the years. We listen out for that ice cream truck. And this right here is a needle point I have been working on for some time. Oops, see that box? <laughs> it tried to fall down. Um, good catch, Bev. <laughs> Anyways, um, sorry about that. It is of the hydrangea. Or hydrangea. You know, I always say the both. I say that every time. But I love the green in the leaves. And I hope to get back to that soon. I've just been doing so many projects here around the cottage. And that is a quiet box. And again, you fill it with the things that you love to do when you have some free time for yourself. And over here, I just placed a book and placed a terracotta pot inside of a terracotta pot. The outside pot, the larger one, came from Maryfield Garden, and I added in some moss. And I'm just going to place in this faux amaryllis bulb. I actually have three of them. Now these two have an opening up at top. You can put candles in here or other flowers, but I'm just going to keep them as is. And the root system looks so real. So I'm just going to place them around the pot. I couldn't be more pleased with this whimsy, adventurous springtime cabinet. And up at top, this is my Swedish ivy. It's black Swedish ivy. So it's purple behind the leaves and I placed it inside a gold basket and I have a wicker basket to the left from Pottery Barn. And just to look with the doors closed. Those sweet little mice, they just made a perfect addition to the cabinet. 